Hello everybody! This time I would like to model a normal soccer ball and to show some more uh, Blender specific tools. Okay, I start with uh, an icosphere. Press F9 to get this menu. I could also click down here. This would be exactly the same. Then I tap into edit mode and I select one of these triangular uh, faces. So face mode, select this one and then shift numpad uh, 7 or home. Then I go to vertex mode again, A to select everything, control no, Q key, I have it in my favorites, bevel vertices and I bevel this in till this hexagon looks about like having the same length edges. Let's see, I made this 0.35. Okay. Now we can uh, measure this. This is the measure tool. And if I click on here, it will automatically um, snap to this vertex. If I put the control down, then you see it snaps to this edge or this one and it snaps to this vertex and we see here we have 0 0.351. Then I click on this one, control again and 349. That's uh, well, 3, that's 35. That's good enough. We will never see this. Okay, we don't need the measurement tool anymore and I put materials on. So again to face selection I select these pentagons which will be the black ones. So shift G and uh, polygon sites and we have all these polygons selected. Then I go to the materials tab, add a new material, call it black, make it black and important assign it. Assign. Okay. Then H to hide this, A to select everything, then I add a new material, uh, make this new material white, make it white and assign it. Now we can Alt H, unhide everything, have a look and that looks pretty good. Okay, next we need to select all these edges. So I go to edge mode, A to select everything and here on this edge pull down I mark them as sharp because as you might know from one of my previous tutorials we don't have selection sets in Blender, but this works pretty well. Okay, now we have these sharp edges, we have the materials and now we can add uh, enough geometry. So I tap to object mode, press Ctrl 4 to um, make this uh, modifier 
and I apply it. Now, here we could, as I did in one of my previous tutorials, go to Mesh, Transform to Sphere. But I would like to show you another way of doing it. We can add another modifier, which is called Cast. And with the Cast modifier, we can do quite funny things like this or <laughs> this here. You can also, um, I make the factor one here. You can say, I want to make a cylinder or I want to make a cube, which is not such a nice cube, looks like a Swiss cow. <laughs> But anyway, we need to have a sphere. And then I apply this and we go back to, to uh, edit mode. I rotate it in Z just to make sure that it is really round and you see it is round and now I go to edge mode select one of these edges shift G select all the edges with the same sharpness I have already explained that the select sharp where is it Select, select sharp edges does not work. I think it's a, a bug which might be fixed or not. Anyway, it works with a select similar. Now we can zoom in here and control B and then shift bevel this out quite a bit and I want to have it with two segments and a profile of one. Now, with all these uh, faces still selected, I press the E key to extrude, right click to activate the extrude, S to scale, and then Shift S to scale it in to where you like then control up arrow and go to the materials tab and add yet another material it's uh, it's the seams seams and i make it some grayish thing and assign it okay now we are pretty much done, just need to polish these edges here a bit again. So back to edge mode, select one, shift G, same sharpness, control B, and then I pull this out a little, but I think I leave it with 1 and 0 0.5, then we can go out to uh, object mode, right click, shade smooth, and that looks quite good. Shift A to add a plane, then I go to the front view, G in Z, bring this down here, S to scale, 22 times. Now we can add a material here again. I make it uh, some dark green, like so. Then I press numpad 0 to go to camera view. Then I have on my quick favorites lock camera to view. Now everything we do here is from the camera's viewpoint. Um, 
let's see, I need the view through the render. I need a light for that. And the light I make an area light and then I select it and rotate it like so. Then I grab it so that the shadows don't always look on the same side. <laughs> so let's see. Then I rotate it a little in Z. No, this one, rotate in Z. Till we have an interesting view. Rotate in Y. Yeah, like, like so. Good. Then I go to the output section, make this 66%. So I have a thumbnail for YouTube and go to the render, select the cycles renderer, make this 1024 iterations and press F12. I have been asked if I speed this up no, I have a pretty fast system with two uh, ten eighty NVIDIA cards, so I render on the GPUs, which is very, very fast. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you some other time. Bye-bye.